Hitchman are back in the Page League Championship Series for the first time since 2011 when they walked away with the program's sixth title. Four years later, they face a Lehigh team that fell short in last year's championship series. Navy won 13 and 7 during league play in the regular season to earn the number one seed. And in last weekend's semifinals, the fourth seeded Leopards put the mids in a 1 0 hole after game one. Navy, however, bounced back with back to back shutouts, including one from starter Stephen Moore. Yeah, after losing the first one, uh, there was a little bit of a dull uh, mood in the, in the dugout, um, but we all knew we were determined. Uh, we had to come out and win the next two, so I think we turned that pressure into determination. Our pitching staff really, really stepped up and, uh, and carried the team. Can't say it was all on the pitching staff, and we scored scored 12 runs in the first game, eight in the second, 20 runs in two games is, uh, is no short of coming. I mean, uh, it was it was really awesome to see our hitters explode like that. Once we won the second game, we had a lot of confidence and momentum going into the into the third on uh, on Sunday, and George came out and just absolutely, absolutely dominated. I mean, three hits and, and nine innings for a shutout. That was very impressive and it was very, uh, very good to see him step up like that. The mids pitchers will be called upon once again this weekend to step up against a lineup that boasts a league best 35 home runs, including seven hit in last weekend's three-game series win over Holy Cross. In their regular season meeting, Moore made one mistake on a home run ball that was the difference. My last outing against Lehigh, you know, it's it's tough making one mistake pitch um, and just leaving that one little bit of focus left on the field. Uh, once you lose that, that small focus, they can capitalize on it. Uh, they've got some good hitters, but uh, I think it really does help us being at home and we've got a pretty tough park to hit it out of the yard. Offensively, um, there's not a whole lot of home runs that are hit in our home field, which uh, which has been official for our pitchers. We've got a strong outfield with, uh, with Curdy in center, Deneen in right, and Trent in left. I mean, they can cover a lot of ground. I have all the confidence in the world in our outfield and the speed out there and playing at home. And we, uh, I have a lot of confidence uh, just being at home. The mids are 22-7 and seven at home. And in order to add two more wins to that total, Moore knows it will come down to stopping leadoff hitter Justin Pacioli, whose 502 on base percentage leads the league. Lehigh definitely, their offense and their uh, their run generation is definitely based around Pacioli and their leadoff guy getting on base. So I don't think we have to go away from our approach in any way. We like to throw strikes, and if they're going to hit the ball, that's fine. But if they're going to walk, then that's uh, that's on us. So I would much rather have him beat us with a hit than than us beat ourselves with a walk. As long as we can eliminate their leadoff guys, I think we're going to have a lot of a lot of success, and um, we're going to thwart their offense. But as long as we can attack him and uh, and go get him and not try to pitch around him, so to say, because I think I think if we can pitch him correctly and uh, and just attack the zone and throw strikes, then we'll let them get themselves out. The mids lineup is very similar with a high on-base percentage at the top and RBI threats throughout the lineup, including Player of the Year Sean Trent. But last week against Lafayette, it was the bottom half of the order coming through. Our lineup sometimes can look like a roller coaster. I mean, the front will go nine for nine, and then the bottom will uh, kind of veer off a little bit. But uh, going in the last two games last weekend, I mean, it was awesome to see everyone up and, and down the lineup, you know, perform. So when you have consistent production up and down the lineup, it really helps your offense get going and stay going. And we have a lot of talent in our team, especially in the younger guys. I mean, look at Sean Tritt. I have no doubt in my mind that he can help lead our team. Um, but our run production is really based on Robert Curry getting on base and our leadoff guy getting on as well. Um, so if we can find a way to produce some runs in the bottom of the lineup, it's, it's really going to extend our confidence throughout the, throughout the lineup. The three-game championship series will begin with a doubleheader at noon on Saturday, and if necessary, Game 3 will be at 1 p.m. Sunday. These higher series will be available live and for free at PageLeague.tv. For the PageLeague Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.